Well, hi guys, this is Dr. Bailey. I'm a board certified orthodontist as well as the co-founder of TrayMinder. TrayMinder is an app that I created to help my patients to remember to wear and change their aligners. So I always tell patients, say the letter N, see where your tongue is tapping on the roof of your mouth N. Most people in normal swallowing or normal posture, they have their tongue naturally on that N position. Some people, they thrust their tongues forward or they hold their tongue down low or they uh, push with their tongue towards the back of their front teeth and that pressure causes the teeth to flare forward. It causes the teeth to form gaps. And remember that the position of your teeth, uh, the natural position of your teeth prior to any orthodontic treatment is basically the equilibrium of the different forces. So you have a certain amount of force from your lips pushing your teeth inward. And you also have a certain amount of force from your tongue pushing your teeth outward. So for some patients, if you notice that you have a flaring of your teeth or you have a lot of spacing or you have a reverse smile line, that basically means that when you smile, your front teeth are... It's, it's like you make an, a sad face with your front teeth. They're, it's like a rainbow rather than an arc going upward. So a natural ideal smile would have a, a nice smile arc, which means that your front, uh, front central incisors, they dip down lower and then the teeth uh, goes, they go upward. But if you have a tongue thrust habit or you hold your tongue in a forward position, then that pressure from your tongue constantly is going to be pushing your, flaring your teeth outwards. And that basically, so that means that your tongue pressure is more than your lip pressure. So then your teeth will go in that direction. Continuous light forces are going to be the most effective way of moving teeth. But that being said, intermittent, long-term intermittent forces can cause adverse effects to your teeth as well. And we've all seen that from people who suck their thumbs or fingers, tongue thrust habits, things like that. Your teeth will move in the direction where they feel the force. They're, they don't care if it's a good force like orthodontic force um, with your clear aligners or braces and they would not be able to differentiate that ideal force with something that can cause untoward effects such as you know a thumb habit or a tongue habit. Here are some tips on how to fix a tongue thrust habit. Number one, rest your tongue in the N position. Notice where your tongue sits when you say the letter N. That is the ideal position to keep your tongue. Number two, practice holding a sugar-free mint on the end position and swallow without dropping the mint. Practice this multiple times a day. Number three, practice swallowing properly with a big glass of water. Not only is it good for your body, but you get to practice your tongue thrust habits. And number four, bonus tip. Proper tongue position makes it harder for you to clench your teeth during the day. That's especially helpful if you're a clencher. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the Trayminder channel. It really helps us out a lot. And this is Dr. Bailey. I'll see you next time. Bye. Trayminder helps busy people remember to wear their aligners. Created by an experienced orthodontist, Trayminder equips you with a timer to track your daily wear time and statistics, then sends notifications to remind you to wear and change your aligners. Plus, have fun documenting your smile journey with convenient teeth selfies, recommended by clear aligner users and orthodontists everywhere. Achieve your best possible smile today with Trayminder.